Boys, your music, it's romantic, it's airy, it's electric. Who wants to go first? What is this music? That comes all from me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> He's really not. No, I mean, a lot of the times Eric will kind of come up with a theme, sort of, for a song, and then I'll, like, um, elaborate on it with more of the lyrics. Um... But a lot of times it'll start with him coming up with a kind of a riff and like a title almost, and then we build build on it from there. It's a pretty interesting kind of way to go about it. Not every song, but that's how this song started at least. So describe the genre of music you would place your, well, place your band in. Mm -hmm. Cool. So the single Only You that we put out with Derek and everything that he said before is true in terms of describing the way we compose music. It was very like soul, R&B, and electro music. We just wanted to like try it out first. What's gonna happen? What's the, reac what's the reaction? And we were, I also feel like we're in that time where we kind of sense that this is the music that needs to be put out. It's like a November in New York, you know, like everything is like black and white, muggy, rainy, you know, cold, and you're trying to like, everybody's like, I don't know, weird about themselves and um, we just came up with this concept put it out shot a music video and now we have different directions where we want to go back to the original you know and as we kind of experience and kind of grow the relationship we we see where the band is going and I think we're gonna record an EP now Nice. We're going to record an EP now. Yeah, starting in February. I think it's definitely going towards more the live feel, rock, alternative music. You guys came together by chance. Yeah. So, like, this works. This partnership works. It's like a relationship. Who wants to tell me how this happened? Well, yeah, yeah I mean, we... <laughs> it's a long <laughs> story. <laughs> yeah, we... Um... We've had mutual friends that tried to introduce us a bunch of different times over the course of like a year, year and a half. And, um, you know, we finally made the connection. I saw him posting guitar videos on Facebook and whatnot, and I told him I played piano and sang, and he asked me to send him some samples, and within five minutes of me sending him a sample, he said, let's meet up, let's do something. <laughs> totally full of shit, and he sends me something. I'm like, I'm like, holy shit, I'm like, this is ridiculous. You and, guys... And then, you yeah. guys are like a married couple, I have to say. It's great. The divorced. Good. <laughs> What's happy? What's happy? A couple that doesn't believe in marriage. I always wanted to focus on vocals, right? But in okay. always, vocals needs to be the first. But in order to make the vocals interesting and stand out from any kind of genre, you need to make good instrumentals with it. Yeah. And I believe that the sound that I'm experiencing with the guitars kind of matured now over the years and really matches with Derek's um, tone. Yeah, I think as, you know, as we become better friends, I think our music's also gotten better, like you said, um, and Only You is like our first song we wrote like, you know, a year ago or, or more, so... And we wrote that in 30 minutes, by the way, the <laughs> whole thing, like that was like a 30 minute song and it t took us a year to put it out. So why is it taken a whole year? You know, personal stuff, work. Um, strategically, yeah. That you're a brand, and I think a lot of people that love music put out music on YouTube, or anyone that's actually been successful, they understand branding. That's such a big piece of the puzzle. It's maybe because I come from event production, right? Like I'm gonna have an, we're gonna have an event in the next hour over here, and that definitely helped the procedure of of making this thing happen. We could even play like a year ago for our friends, but we kind of skipped that whole thing, just investing compositions and like doing it the right way, like mm -hmm. invest in marketing and... We want it to be legitimate, professional, not a thing that's just for our friends. Exactly. We can have a show every month and just invite our friends to it and never get any bigger than that. Yeah. I don't want to do that, really. 
So you want to reach the masses. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and now we're looking at a point where we, you know, we're very grateful that you know we can say that our connections go overseas and everybody's just like waiting to hear what we're going to come out with and we just want to put good music out we're not focusing on how much money we can make on it because you know we're doing our own thing during the day to make a living we just want people to appreciate our music to, to, to love it and follow us and we'll take it from there and build a journey I mean the great thing is that you do events cache events um, is this music that you play at your events as well not really. It's a different theme. Cache is mostly based on disco music and funk, and Provocado is based on, you know, on Derek and Eric. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't you call the band Derek and Eric? I guess we, we threw we threw it out there because it's off brand. <laughs> because speaking, of it, it's off brand. Yeah, we thought about it. Nah, no, no, we didn't really think about it. I thought about it. I don't have the branding expertise. We we thought it's like a little. Like, you know the band Tattoo or Tattoo? Tattoo? Yes. Yeah, we wanted to, like, avoid that situation. Derek like, and Derek and Eric. Adventure. That could have been good. <laughs> wait, wait. Derek and Eric's Excellent Adventure. I, I think that's awesome. Yeah, that's going to be our second album. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> R O V O C A D O. Yeah. A-D-O. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. I'm like, what's our band name? <laughs>